Want to switch sections? Okay. A couple of years ago I was waiting tables at this restaurant in Jersey. This story took place during our slow season and it was pretty competitive between all the servers. Every server wanted the better section and the bigger tables since our overall tips were lower than usual. We didn't pool tips. It got pretty cutthroat at times. I was doing okay financially so I wasn't as money hungry as everyone else. I personally get time anxiety so I hate being late to things. So if my shift starts at 5, I'm walking into work at 4.45 to get settled, then clocking in at 5 to get to work. My coworker Kayla however had a different attitude. She would walk into work at 5 o'clock on the dot and clock in and then head right to the bathroom to put on her makeup which took her about 15 minutes. On most days it was slow enough that it wasn't an issue but it still wasn't right. Call me old-fashioned but when your shift starts at 5, you should start working at 5 and not apply makeup while on the clock while you have other duties to take care of. I've never had to deal with putting on makeup but it just seemed to me that she should have taken more time while getting ready to come to work to put it on. I always let it slide because I'm non-confrontational but it bothered other co-workers however. Management never got around to addressing it. One day I walked in at my usual time and as I clocked in at 5 I saw Kayla clock in as well and scurry off the bathroom. I roll my eyes and walk over to the host station where there are two people waiting. The host asked if Kayla was here yet. Because she was up for her first table in the rotation. I told her she was getting ready in the bathroom. The host rolled her eyes and went to tell her she was going to get sat. We all knew she was putting on her makeup. We weren't going to hassle her if she was on the toilet. I didn't hear the exact back and forth they had but it took longer than I had expected. The last thing I heard Kayla say was, just switch my section I'll take the next one. I don't care. So the host sauntered back to me with a grin saying, you're up for this table. Want to help me set it up? I'm confused. Set it up? It's only two people? Oh no it's a party of 14. This is Mr. Moneybag's niece and nephew. The rest of the family is on their way. For context, Mr. Moneybag's. Not his real name obviously. But it would have been awesome if it was was a very wealthy and well-known man in our area. He made his fortune in landscaping and then moved on to real estate. And believe it or not, he was one of the few affluent people in our area that wasn't an entitled dick. Me and the host set up the table in record time just as the rest of the party arrived. Everyone began to sat down as I greeted everyone. And just as luck would have it, I gave Mr. Moneybags a handshake as I locked eyes with a dolled up Kayla as she entered the dining room and she realized that she did to herself. The next two hours I waited on my 14 top table as Kayla waited on two tops. She actually had a table not tip at all. Which is awful and I don't condone. But in this particular situation oh well. And of course she kicked herself again when she looked over at my table's check and saw the fat tip. I was getting off my big table. Oh well. Get ready for work before work not at work. The early bird catches the worm. What percent did they tip? On the one hand, when your shift starts you should be ready to go. On the other hand, Anything you do to get ready for work, or after work, that's a requirement of the job should be considered work and compensated. For example, if you were an employee of some facility that used a clean room with those special Tavex suits, the time you would spend putting that suit on before your shift and taking it off afterwards should be considered time worked. So your shift would not be the same as your scheduled time. If there's no makeup required, then yeah, get to work, Kayla. Maybe they didn't tip because she gave awful service. Hey, she handed herself the sword she fell on. 
I'm going to say this and it's going to disappoint you. Kayla had a better section than you as an employee that shows up on time and is ready 15 minutes after start time on the regular. I would reconsider how much you're appreciated for being ready to work on the dot. Call me old-fashioned but when your shift starts at 5, you should start working at 5 and not apply makeup while on the clock. Did the employer require she wear it for the job? Then hell yes it's clockable time. So if my shift starts at 5, I'm walking into work at 4.45 to get settled, then clocking in at 5 to get to work. You're giving your employer 15 minutes for free. I'm sure you'll get extra raises, special non-firing privileges, and extra candy when you get to heaven. 15 minutes early is on time, on time is late and late is a sin. Our tales from your server might enjoy this as well. I thought big parties were known for under-tipping? Call me old-fashioned but when your shift starts at 5, you should start working at 5 and not apply makeup while on the clock while you have other duties to take care of. If makeup is part of the job hell no. No way you should be doing that on your time. That would not fly with me. She'd have been on a written warning after he first time and fired on the second time. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.